everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today I'm holding the Embassy Pro from Epiphone. Now, if it looks familiar, that's because it's been inspired by the Embassy that came out in the 60s. And it's not exactly the same. You know, the headstock's different, the horn is a little bit longer on this one. Um, so, you know, why they do this? Well, they did this because it's the 60th anniversary of Epiphone and Gibson coming together. Um, they did this because, you know, I actually looked online this morning for this particular bass, and they're selling one on Reverb right now for about 12 grand. So if you want to go there, then by all means, get an original. Um, it was owned by John Antwistle, so that probably has a lot to do with it too, but I digress. This one retails for $399. Ding, 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 ding. Pretty sweet. So let's talk about this 34 inch scale, vintage inspired little machine. 34 inches, mahogany body, mahogany neck. Uh, we've got this kind of claw um, tailpiece back here, which you can see the claw and we get in there. Tunematic bridge, these big, brand new, nasty, I say nasty in a good way, 760 humbuckers. We've got the uh, vintage inspired controls, which is volume, blend, and tone and jumbo frets uh, the gear ratios on these are 17 to 1 for increased accuracy and of course two by two design so we flip this thing over and you can see ta-da look at that the nut is also a uh, it's a faux bone nut it's not a true bone nut for those of you scoring at home and three ply pit guard what's not to love all right so let's talk about some tones on this so on the intro, it was volume all the way up, tone all the way up, and perfect blend between the two pickups. Now, what you can do with this bass is you can get that nasty sort of uh, mid-range um, snarl to it, and then you can also get the really big, really warm, um, big, you know, reggae classic vintage stuff happening. So let's, uh, let's listen to both. So let's go to the extreme. Now again, this tone control is all the way up. So, um, and th this is gonna be just the bridge pickup. <laughs> Now I'm going to take the tone control and roll that back all the way down. You hear how it's choked and how it's muffled. So um, sometimes when you have a tone control and you, you dime it, then it's kind of an unusable tone or just gets too crispy. But this actually helps it open up and sing a little bit. Now let's move to the neck pickup. And again, this is gonna be with the tone control all the way up. Again, it's really big, it's really robust. And now I'm gonna take that tone and get rid of it. And it goes subterranean. And let's go back to both pickups. Tone all the way off. Again, it's a little bit choked, so we'll go back. Let me just ease it in. And now it's all the way up. Again, dimed, everything's dimed, and then this is halfway. So it's a great sounding little instrument.
Who's going to use this? Just about anybody. Um, you know, it feels like a short scale bass. It really does. Um, but it's not. You know, so maybe a beginner, maybe, a, you know, the intermediate. But again, anybody looking for this kind of vintage tone in this particular pickup configuration, uh, the buckers are really big. Uh, which I think would lend themselves to somebody that uses maybe some cool effects paddles. And, uh, and again, with that, that nice mid-range grit from the bridge pickup, you can get some really killer tones out of that. So make sure you check this out for yourself. Go to your local store and check out the Embassy Pro from Epiphone on your own time. And, uh, and you know, if you're surfing the web, go to YouTube, check, you know, subscribe, do all those things you're supposed to do at PremierGuitar.com. Check out all the videos and have a great day. From Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com, this is Steve Cook. I'll see you real soon. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.